the Snork. Once soldiers, they have been twisted by the zone to have a slightly altered physiology than typical humans. Though they are 90 to 95 percent similar to humans, their primary mutations lie in their elastic tendons and their sense of smell. The elasticity of tendons in a snork's body allow it to leap unbelievable distances, oftentimes requiring them to perform a roll when impacting the ground in order to absorb the shock. Their eyesight is heavily obscured by the cracked eyepieces of their GP4 gas masks, but what they lack in sight they make up for in smell. Snorks have mutated to use the hose of their tattered gas masks as a sort of hypersensitive nose. Their reliance on sense of smell over sight makes them deadly nocturnal predators, as well as a nightmare to deal with in any dark environment. Initially called recruits by the military forces in the zone, they were first encountered when they murdered a military officer with the rusted remains of a shotgun. The name Snork originated with a German journalist who referred to the creature as the Snorkel because of its use of an extended breathing tube. Over time, Snorkel became shortened to just Snork. The Snork's appearance is very distinct, as its entire body of dark grey skin is covered in open wounds, as well as the tattered remains of a military uniform. Snorks can be seen to have an exposed spine on their back, with the surrounding tissue having never healed. Also, Snorks appear to have no lips, as well as heavily damaged vocal cords, explaining why they communicate solely in grunts and growls. It is unknown whether or not their lips were bitten off by the creatures themselves, or perhaps it was a consequence of their mutation. Though they may appear heavily atrophied, snorks are surprisingly strong. When combating a snork, it is most effective to use a shotgun. Though they may move slowly out of combat, snorks are capable of very rapid movement while they are on the attack, making the spread of a shotgun invaluable in dispatching them, particularly when they perform a jumping lunge. Snorks rely on clawing or kicking at their target at melee range, so it is best that you outstrafe these attacks at close ranges. Also, they often travel in packs, so it is best to be wary of your surroundings when one is encountered. The Snork can show itself to be a formidable enemy, and remains a very iconic mutant of the zone. Should you encounter a pack of them, you'd better hope that you've brushed up on your skeet shooting. Get out of here, stalker! <laughs>